Hi, you'll recall from the pyramid the thing at the top was the mission statement. And to be very practical, uh, if you went back to my YouTube clippings numbered 16 and 17 in the first play uh, playlist, uh, you know, I talked about uh, the hub economics, the, the foundational reason distributors exist is to bring in a one-stop shop array of stuff in large quantities, break it down into small assorted quantities, and ship it out on a timely basis. Um, it's a immutable thing. You know, some people like Walmart want to backward integrate and have owned their own master distribution centers, as they call them, to feed their stores, but uh, you still need to break bulk, reassort, and ship out. So that's the space we're in. So as long as we're in that space, we say, well, look, we want to be the best. We want to be a service value chain solution player, or and we have to do it as a team. And the YouTube clips 19 to 32 sort of get across that whole idea of, of what is service value chain selling and, and, and how do we make that happen. Uh, and by doing it in a best way, we want to create uh, the best long-term economics for all four stakeholder groups, the suppliers, the customers, the shareholders, the employees, not necessarily in that order, of course. Uh, they're all equal in a way. The... Uh, and if we do that, then we would be first choice for the very best best partners and the best people, and they'd want to come and be part of our story because we're successful. Successful people want to work with successful people. You know, co-creators have to come find somebody else who gets it and wants to, you know, move forward too. So um, and I talk a little bit about that being first choice in the stakeholder partnership game in YouTube clips 146 to 148. Um, earlier I said, you know, how do we define our mission in a way that it can't be replaced? So should the, if the oil industry is going to become the energy business, uh, we could say we're not a distributor of electrical products. We could say we are a service value solu chain solution team uh, that uh, w in the electrical, you know, product ecosystem, you know, or some, some vague thing like that. But, um, uh, you know, I, this, this is, this is, this is, you know, starting to take the, these vague mission ideas, like we want to be a great company and a good place to work. And what's that mean? Um, so how do we start to put more specific phrases in there? And then if you go to my YouTube clips, boy, you go very deep and this really starts to mean something to people, particularly been through it five to 50 times. So that's for the mission. As far as values, you know, when you look at it, uh, you know, values of, for the top 20, 30, 40 companies, they, you know, you sort of say, what are the most popular ones? Um, certainly one of them is respect for, you know, all individuals and therefore the individuals add up to stakeholders that, that we work with. And when, with respect, there's sort of a, a sort of a legal or a, a judicial concept of due process. So we're going to be very transparent. Um, we're going to realize that you know all people are humans and deserve to breathe air and so forth, and uh, you know fill in the blanks from there. Um, but if, for example, we were going to fire somebody. Uh, maybe an acid test would be, well, if we if somebody has to be let go from the company, um, they're going to give fair warning. They're going to give, you know, good intervention, you know, efforts. And when they go, their three best friends, if they do have three best friends, will say, well, you know, unfortunately it had to be because these people, in a sense, fired themselves. They did not live up to the values, the standards of the company. They, there was due process. There was nothing political about this or arbitrary or whimsical. Uh, and so that's the way it has to be. Um, in, a, in a world where we're late in the, in the, in the life cycle, so that all the power shifted to the customers and no longer are we, do we have exclusive supplier franchises that grow every year and sell every year and are, have got better quality you know, value and make us rich as, as sales agents. Now we have to be in the demand replenishment game. Um, so we want to be customer centric and we want to be service value innovators to the point where we say, you know, we're just simply the best. We, we provide measurably the best total economic value solution. So let's get married. 
Uh, so that would be a, a, a several values linked together, customer centric, innovation, and an absolute best economic value. Uh, obviously, to if we respect all individuals, you know, most individuals like to be better and be all they can be. So we have to say we believe in continuous learning and improving at the individual level, mastery. There's some YouTube clips on that. Pushing the wheel of learning to fail forward fast and so forth, uh, you know, at, at, for corporate wide in a sense. So um, that that would be, a, we want to be a learning organization would be another key value. Uh, you can you can you can add to the list again. I'm just trying to give you some specific uh, uh, traction to get you some some depth and 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 uh, uh, concrete uh, to these these abstractions. Uh, let's stop here. We'll move to the next slide and and move on down that pyramid of uh, of sub elements. Thank you.